Hey everyone, welcome back to Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. Today, we are looking at ticker symbol FSLR, that is First Solar Inc. Uh, I had ran a scan for stocks like NVIDIA before NVIDIA went from, gosh, $2 to 900 uh, One of the key characteristics in stocks that we found was First Solar. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a deeper look today for solar. We're gonna run some numbers, see, excuse me, what we get and see what institutions and hedge funds are doing. Without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the subscribe button and jump on in. All right, so first solar, let's take a look at the bigger picture. It looks like they've, yeah, they had a high of 231 and they bottomed at 129 almost a 50% drop. Um, uh, it looks like I am waiting. This is the apex. I'm waiting patiently for the apex. I do have a position. It's not a big, strong position, but I have some shares and I think we could get down to 107 if the conditions are right. Um, but looking at these indicators, it looks like it might be a while. So the strength is actually curling back up. Momentum looks like it is curling back up. Money flow looks like it has stabilized and might be trying to figure out where to go next. Relative momentum is still pretty hot. So the odds of me getting what I want at 108, you never know. But we're going to crunch some numbers, take a look at some of these uh, data points. Uh, you can see from 2019 to 2023, there have been 105 million shares from the beginning and 100 and s almost 107 at the end of 2023. Not much dilution at all, really. Um, sales have been pretty plateau-y, uh, with 2023 being a record year for them. And then EPS kind of, I mean, it's, it's going up and to the right, the bigger picture, but we do have these one-off... Uh, years it looks like so uh they are profitable very little debt good cash position it looks like gross margins 39 percent absurd a lot of price target increases with wells fargo bringing it down to 187 socks 168 uh, they were the only ones who brought it down that low mizuho had it at 188 Okay, uh, let's run my calculation and see what the possible stock price could be. Okay, so they have 18 billion, 40 million in market cap. That's huge. Plus they have 830 million, 780,000 in income. I could see them being a dividend paying stock in the next five years. I think they should keep the money for themselves, but I think that could be a possibility. And they also do 3 billion, 320 million in sales. Yep. All right, uh, now let's go down here and we're going to look at um, the balance sheet. They have two billion in cash. Wow, that's pretty historically high from where they've had it before. So plus two billion, 110 million, 750,000. Not 21, two billion, 110, yep. Total debt, please be in the billion, not not the billions. Okay, total debt is minus 517,780,000. All right, uh, total assets, 10.3 billion. Total liabilities, 3.6 billion. That's almost, that's like a 2.5X assets dwarfing liabilities. That is just beautiful. Uh, total debt, um, it is increasing actually. The total debt has increased. It's been increasing for... over a year now. Are they going to get it back down to the 200 level? I don't know. Uh, total assets are rocketing up. That's good. With assets come liabilities. Uh, liabilities, total liabilities. Yep, liabilities went up as well. Um, okay, so we have our number here. And we're going to take this and divide it by... 100 million 90,000. 
This is a $237 stock trading at 168. Nice little discount there of 69 giggity dollars. <laughs> Did I do that math right? 32 plus 37. Yep. 69 giggity dollars. Okay. So uh, that's pretty good. That's, I think that's a 50% increase from here. Uh, has the price gotten to 237? No. Wow. Okay. So that's really good. Um, man. Uh, what are institutions and hedge funds doing? Institutions own 89.66%, and that is old data. FSLR, yes. That is old data. New data, I call this is new data because it, this website is updated frequently, up to the day most times. So 89% to 95.76. Ownership is near record highs. That's great. Um, that is good. Vanguard, of course, BlackRock. Everyone here has, oh, no, no, no. BlackRock decreased their position by 5%. Um, Black or in, Vanguard <laughs> increased. Okay. Um, some greens, some green, green, more greens, 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 greens. I haven't seen any reds yet. Have you? There we go. Three reds, four, five, six reds, seven reds, eight, nine, ten reds, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six reds and counting, but I was not counting any of the greens. Just makes you wonder. All right, so first solar trading at a discount obviously the price to earnings right now is a little expensive however if they continue on the path they're on the price to earnings in the future is going to be 8.13 which is decent compared to uh 15 is usually the uh, standard so this looks really good um yeah i'm still i'm still i have a position i i haven't fully pulled the trigger yet but we can also see here, if you guys are chartists like myself, look if you see what I see. And I'm gonna make this a different color so we can um, I'll make it thick and I'm gonna make it bright. Okay, you see that blue line I just drew? And you can see these two black lines I am drawing. Anyone know what that pattern is, by the way? I could do like this to make it more. This is a bearish flag. So we have our flag pull, this blue thing. And then these two black lines I just put is our flag. What typically happens is the stock will fall out of this flag to the downside. So with April being our new month, I do think we could see a test of 182.92. We can see it's tested one, two, three times and it's failed. I mean, we might we might not even test that. We might just fall lower. Um, the stock needs to hold above 152. If it does not, this looks juicier and juicier by the day. Right there. That's that's my zone. That's my that's my buy my buy for me my buy zone so uh again this showed up on my nvidia scan i mean currently so i took the metrics of nvidia when it was i don't know maybe like 16 20 bucks and first solar showed up today so it like obviously buying first solar at $12 would have been awesome and holding it for 12, 14 years, whatever. No, it'd be 12. Um, but it was not, it did not fit the parameters that Nvidia had before it went on a 10 X plus run. Yes. 10, well, 10, 20, 30, 45, 45 X run. 
went from 22 to 900 plus. So could first solar go from $100, give or take, to 3000 maybe? I mean, I don't know. It just, it kind of also depends on politics, unfortunately, like what they require, clean energy come from, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but first solar also, um, it doesn't say their locations or anything. Um, let's just look at their site. Cause I, I think they used to manufacture, they got out of that cause it wasn't a very profitable business. It's still not profitable. Um, my internet's not working. All right. First solar finally loaded. Um, let's see. They are a manufacturer. Wow. Uh, but, 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 but let's look at their, they have a modern slavery statement. What is that? Let's look at it. We'll look at it in a minute. Uh, locations. I want to see what their locations look like. Maybe. Okay, locations is loading. Uh, modern slavery statement. Um, does this have to do with child labor? Minerals, human rights, okay. Okay, okay. I mean, that's, I was thinking like, not that kind of slavery. Okay, so manu so they still manufacture. I thought they were more of, let's see. <clears throat> uh, commercial utility size company. But it looks like they just manufacture. What are their margins? Thirty-eight percent. I don't know how they're getting such good margins. Chinese products, I don't know. Vietnamese products, I don't know. Um, uh, I want to see what their PowerPoint is. I think they should have where they're getting revenues from. Okay, here we go. Okay. Um, where's your presentation? Here we go. Here we go. The meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes. Okay. Um, okay, commercial. Exactly. That's what I thought it was. I thought it was commercial. So they have bookings. That's that's great. They do financing. Okay. They do manufacturing. Okay. Gross profit, 43%. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, cool. Expansion. Okay. 2024 guidance. Okay, so they're guiding for 4.4 to 4.6 this year with gross margins being almost 50%. Gross margins right now are 39%. Are they nuts? Net cash, they, they do have a lot of cash still. Um, okay, net sales of four billion. That's huge, that's a billion more than what they had last year. Wow, that's juicy. That's super juicy. That is really juicy. Well, I think I really like this company a lot more now. Doing good for the world and just killing it. Solar World, like these US solar manufacturers, I used to work at Solar World, their margins are so slim. And you have to pay the American workers 
you know, uh, the minimum wage or more, and it just eats into the overall profits. So very, very interesting. I do like First Solar a lot. I would be fine considering my risk tolerance and my time frame for owning stock. I would feel comfortable starting to purchase this every week at a small, small increments. So right now, let's see, the stock is 168. So if you have Robinhood or another brokerage that allows you to put in small increments amounts, that is fine. Uh, for Vanguard or like my Roth IRA, I can't. So I'd have to buy like one share every every other week or something, depending on how I wanted to break it down. But um, I think this company is going to kill it in 2024. I do want it cheaper because I'm selfish, but I really like this company. Uh, I mean, if I were to redo my calculation here with the 4.4 bill to 4.6, That's crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, I'm done. Uh, I'm done oogling over this. All right, if you guys made this far, consider, consider subscribing, leave a comment. Let me know if you have any stocks you want me to review. Have a wonderful weekend. Talk to you later.